I wanted to talk briefly about um, how I think about practicing scales. And for me, what it's not, when I think about practicing scales, is it's not about practicing a fingering. Like... <laughs> I always found that that wasn't particularly conducive to improvisation. Um, so when I think about practicing scales, what I'm really trying to think about is what are the notes in that scale? What are all the notes? And where are they all over my instrument? And then I practice improvising with that. Improvising melodically and harmonically. So we'll take an easy example. Let's take um, um, the key of G major. Okay, and then you want to know what the key signature is, of course, and the key signature for the key of G major, it's one sharp, and that sharp is an F sharp. So the notes are G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. And so I want to explore that all over the instrument. And I'll, I'll kind of move around in regions for a while, in little areas, and try to create music with that the whole time, absolutely knowing exactly what note I'm playing all the time. That's the key for the practice. And if it's too hard at first to deal with that, you can just sort of stay in one area and then explore another area the next day. So I'll spend a couple minutes here improvising with the G major scale, but not a fingering. So that's improvising uh, with the G major scale, and that's how I'm thinking about scales. And so that helps me create music on the spot, but it also um, helps me generate ideas for new songs. And of course, most most of the time when you're going to compose a song, you may not probably just stick to one scale, the whole song, or the, though you could. Um, but that's that's sort of my daily routine. I'll pick a couple of keys um, with a scale, and uh, spend a few minutes improvising and. 
uh, the whole time right there I was knowing exactly what note I was playing and that's really key so if that's hard at first if you're not that familiar with the fingerboard maybe just stick with a few fret area you know stick down here for a while till you really know that part of the fingerboard super well and then move to another and another and another hope you enjoyed that